Okay, in today's video, we'll be covering the Despair Incarnon. When it comes to this Incarnon, I think it is very strong and quite powerful, and it is now able to outclass the weapons that have previously been better than it. Examples like the Lex Prime were better for single target, Dual Toxis was pretty good for single target, and add clear with its Incarnon, the Aki Core is quite good for overall clearing, the Nucor was good for spreading. But now I think the Despair can outclass most of them due to its Incarnon changes and how it functions now. So we'll first cover the evolutions, the builds I have made for it, the synergies I plan on using, and then we'll go into Steel Path. So let's go ahead and cover those evolutions, shall we? All right, overall, when it comes to the Evolution 1, it unlocks the Weapon A and now gains embedding projectiles that will explode into heat instead of just passing through the enemy. Next up, we'll have Evolution 2. Evolution 2 gives us two options. We have Fatal Accelerate uh, Affliction and Stalker's Vendetta. Fatal Affliction gives us plus 40% direct damage per stats type affecting the target and also gives us a flat increase of fatigue damage. Stalker's Vendetta will give us an increased damage by 60, but while the Dread and Hate are equipped, your multi-shot will consume directly from your capacity and does 100% damage plus the 30% multi-shot. When it comes to Stalker's Vendetta, the damage bonus is a unique modifier that is multiplicative to other damage buffs. The damage bonus only applies to the shots generated by multi-shot as well, and the multi-shot bonus stacks additively with multi-shot mods such as Barrel Diffusion, but the biggest problem with it is the fact that you'll run out of ammo after about three to four throws, so instead we'll be using Fatal Affliction since it's like a miniature galvanized mod. Next up we have Evolution 3. Evolution 3 gives us three options. Marksman's Focus, Swift Deliverance, and Rapid Reinforcement. Marksman's Focus gives us minus 30% zoom, which makes it so we're not as zoomed in when using the weapon, plus 50% projectile speed with Swift uh, Deliverance, so our uh, kunai moves faster through the air, and finally we have Rapid Reinforcement, which gives us more reload speed. When it comes to the reload speed, this also does increase how fast you swap in between your um, Incarnon and non-Incarnon, so it's dealer's choice. I think the projectile speed is more worth it because then you don't have to use a extra slot for it, but also the zoom is quite nice. So for this build, we'll use Swift Deliverance. Finally, with Evolution 4, we are given three options, Elemental Balance, Survivor's Edge, and Critical Parallel. With these options, Elemental Balance will give us an increase in stat chance by 24%. Uh, Survivor's Edge will give us a base crit chance increase of 12%, and also base stat chance increase by 12%. And then finally, we have Critical Parallel, which gives us a base crit chance increase of 18%, and an increase in crit damage by 0.4. I feel like Critical Parallel overall has higher damage. I will show that with a little um, picture above, showing how they are all compared with Hornet Strike and such. So overall, I think Critical Parallel has a better place than the other ones, but Obviously, pick as you decide, because depending on your build, Survivor's Edge may be better. Next, let's go ahead and cover those builds that we have, so we can better see how I plan on building this thing. Alright, now it's time to show off the builds. When it comes to this build, as y'all saw with the uh, picture, we had Prime Dick Spell. I took it off, mainly because I'm not the biggest fan of it, even though it does obviously do more damage. We'll be using Galvanized Diffusion, Galvanized Crosshairs, Galvanized Shot, which you would replace for the uh, Expel mod. Prime Target Cracker, Lethal Torrent, Prime Heated Charge, Pistol Pestilence, and Frostbite for Viral. Cascadia Flare can be replaced with Cast, and I almost said Cascadia, with Secondary Deadhead, but since this weapon does a lot of heat damage, I feel it will have a better place. Next up is Concealed Explosive with Blast. This is where the fun comes in with this weapon since depending on who you use, which will be the synergy, the weapon can do better or worse. With this one, we'll be using basically the entire same thing, except we took off Galvanized Crosshairs for Concealed Explosives, and we'll be using Toxin Blast instead of Heat Viral. Finally, we're using Secondary Merciless as well. We'll have Concealed Gas. Uh, concealed Explosives with Gas and Electricity, with basically once again the same build, but with Galvanized Crosshairs being replaced with Concealed Explosive. This will be built more for fighting the Corpus. These will also, all three of them, can be combined with the person I plan on using today to show off a funny interaction with them. So I'll show off the optimal build, obviously, since this is the one everyone wants to see. Then we'll show off the uh, compare, not comparison, the um, the mixture with the Warframe I plan on using. Then we'll go into Steel Path to try it out. So let's cover the weapon, shall we? All right. And like most Incarnons, the way you get your Incarnon to proc is by hitting headshots. And once you obviously get a full bar or any bar, you are allowed to just basically hit the button you use to start all of your Incarnons or alternate fires and you get 20 Incarnon form shots. So when you throw them, they embed and cause heat damage and they shoot out, I think it's about four. So it also still punctures. Sadly, I am quite bad at aiming. It is slightly inaccurate. And say you didn't want to aim at the target exactly, you can throw them at the floor and still cause them to explode. And thanks to Galvanized Crosshairs, we're doing a ton of damage. And this is obviously the optimal option. You can swap out Galvanized Shot for um, an Expel mod, which will make it do even more damage. But this is the first build. I want to show off now the versions where I combine Saren with the Concealed Explosive build. So let's get into those real quick. 
So when it comes to using the concealed explosive builds, what I basically would do is spawn my spores, use Toxic Lash, and just start throwing them. And as you'll see, I don't fall over thanks to using Prime Sure Footed. It spreads a ton of my spores, and then all I do is start throwing my Incarnon. And thanks to how Blast works, they just all basically explode. But that's the first one that would be the um, Toxin and Blast build. Next, I'll show off the Blast and Electricity build. I love when I make my own mistakes. I said blast electricity. This is gas and electricity. So once again, I will get my Incarnon ready. We pop our spores on whoever. Proc Toxic Lash. You don't even have to use the Incarnon, but I'm going to ahead of time and just... Throw them at the floor, throw them at the person. It doesn't matter who you throw them at. Just throw them at something and, well, everything dies. So I'm going to go to a survival mission. I might do Murmur this time. I'm actually having a lot of fun with those. And we'll just see how long we can go. So I'll see y'all there after I get my build ready. And we're actually going to fight the Murmur today. So when it comes to fighting the Murmur, the biggest problem with trying to get Incarnons is hitting their crits, obviously, since they have like two on the on these guys. In particular, they have two. It's on their arms. The the dogs have one. It's right on their face. Like the legs, though, are really easy to do it on since their entire leg is a crit, which is nice. And you may see I have Pillage on. Well, why do I have Pillage? Strips armor, gives me shields, gives the enemies a problem to deal with, and it kind of just helps me overall with my very aggressive playstyle. Since on my Saren, I am using um, Arcane Avenger. My brain couldn't remember the name of it. And with Arcane Avenger, when I get hit, my crit increases. And since I'm having to stay in my scope a ton, since I'm using Galvanized Crosshairs, having that extra bit of uh, tanking, is just that much more like appreciated and helpful because then I have to worry less about worrying if I'm going to live the next fight or if the enemy is about to die again. Now, where is this guy? There he is. How does it handle against the grudgling, gruzzling, whatever these things are called? Uh, I'd say quite well as I already just killed. Yep, there he goes. And I see we're not having any issues. My No, my spores are still spreading. Everything is still dying. I'm really not at all having a problem so i'll come back to y'all whenever we have an acolyte to fight so i'll see y'all then all right the uh acolyte is spawning who are we getting ah angst so how does it handle oh there went angst well that was kind of expected and just let me clear out that hallway and I'm, i've been staying scoped in this entire time to keep uh, galvanized uh crosshairs enabled the entire time as you can see and we're hitting quite good numbers everything's spreading quite nicely yes i know my life support is low shut up Fibonacci. i haven't had any real issues so i'll head back to the orbiter since i think most people have fought the murmur and understand these guys are kind of a pushover but at the same time if your build's not right they're not and i'll cover the weapon one more time before we end for today all right, that was not a bad run whatsoever. I actually had quite a lot of fun in that one. So overall, how is the um, Despair Incarnon? It's probably one of my favorite secondary Incarnons outside of obviously my favorite being the um, Dual Toxis Incarnon. It's actually one of my favorites purely because it's just a brrr in a gun. But the Despair Incarnon, phenomenal option. Really good option for people who just want a quick, strong, powerful Incarnon without much thought behind it. And like I had said during the runs, if you don't like being scoped in a lot during uh, when aiming, change out galvanized uh, crosshairs for things like Creeping Bullseye or Prime Pistol Gambit. You'll have obviously a little less crit in the end due to how this mod works, but it's still going to work quite well. And again, change this to the uh, Deadhead one if you want that one. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Next up will be a Corvex video coming up in the time. Uh, and a thing is college is starting back up for me next week on Monday. So videos and streams may be a little bit delayed, but either way, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Hope you enjoy the video. Make sure you subscribe and hit that like button and comment down below what else you might want to see. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out everybody.